Welcome everyone to a new unboxing video. So a lot of you already know this, but I like to do a lot of different unboxing videos, mostly for the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. And that is one of the more, I guess, well-known things on my channel. However, I also like to play a lot of different games, and I've actually done a couple of these Smash Up videos before when I did faction reviews for Aliens and Dinosaurs. I haven't done any more because they haven't really been uh, too uh, much to, like really requested at all. So I was like, you know what, I'll take a break from that. Maybe that's not the type of content that people want to see. But regardless, I do like my um, unboxing videos. So let's go ahead and get this started. This here is Smash Up. It's um, actually, I'm not going to say it's like an incredibly old game, but it's definitely been several, several years, almost a decade from what I know um, that, it's, uh, that it's been out. But it's Smash Up. Paul Peterson Smash Up. And it's had so many different expansions since its release over the years. But it's definitely a very fun one, and I highly recommend that if you like playing games like Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, which are more collectibles on a one-on-one -on -one basis and individualistic level, Smash Up is a little bit different. It's still collectible in terms of getting all the different uh, factions, but in a very different way, and I'll explain as we go. So let's go ahead and do this unboxing here and show you what the core set actually is. So, um, actually I'll go ahead and flip it just so you can see, but this is the core set. Like I said, there's plenty of different... Um, just, uh, I guess the easiest way to say that is that there's definitely been plenty of, um, of expansions throughout the years, but this is the core set, which actually has the original eight factions with 20 cards each, um, as well as 16 base cards. So it's actually a lot of cards for just one core set. It's more of a trading card game as opposed to a board game. Not actually a trading card game, but more of a card game, I should say. My bad. Why did I say trading? You know what I mean. It's a card game as opposed to, um... A board game style. So let's go ahead and open this up here. So essentially when you go in and open it, one of the first things is that you will see this giant rule book. This might be giant but it's actually nothing compared to like the bigger geekier box rule book. But yeah, if you want to know all the rules, here they are. Um, if you actually want me to go ahead and do a video on how to play Smash Up, just so you kind of know the way this works, I will definitely do one of those. Just let me know and I will uh, definitely do my best to go and make a quality like video for that to show you how to play but yeah this is the smash up book I'm gonna go and move this over and what you will see in the box first of all you get this nice little black tray you can remove the tray if you want to I'm not gonna lift it up all the way but just to kind of show you you can remove it but it has these different places where you can put different sets of cards a lot of people like to um, simply divide their factions up each faction is 20 cards which is uh, this much you simply see you now select the spot where to put them and there that's that way you can organize them so it's really handy but moving on to the actual cards themselves you'll see that there's a lot of different piles here so there's one two three four five six uh seven eight there's a ninth one here but these are actually base cards so let me go ahead and take these out just so you can kind of see what um what this game is uh, composed of so a lot of huge fans of this matchup game obviously already know the original eight you know the big eight that came out in the core set so these were the first eight factions that came out back when the back when the game was first released a long time ago sort of all right so i'm gonna go through these one at a time and i will bring out the bases a little bit later but i'm gonna go ahead and set the game aside for now just so i can show you what exactly it's all about here so essentially what each player does is that they pick two factions and they go against one another. Uh, Smash Up is a game for up to four players, so what's really nice is that they give you eight factions, so eight factions, two factions per player, it's exactly enough for a four player game. Uh, not too much diversity though with this, that which is why you want to get the expansions. But Okay, so I went ahead and reorganized all these different factions just so we could take a look at them one at a time. So. Uh, I'm not going to be going over the, you know, the rules on how to play in this video. I'm just going to be showing these one at a time really quickly just so you get an idea of what each faction is composed of. So we have Collector, and you actually get four Collectors, I do know that. So a lot of these factions have a 4 to 3 to 2 to 1 ratio for their minions, but here's Collector. Cool. That's that one. Then you have Scout. You get three Scouts. Okay. I'm going to put that a little closer, so that's Scout right there. Okay. Then you have Invader, there's the next alien, very um, <laughs> very fun card to be using to be spamming your gain one VP ability. And then Supreme Overlord, this is your five powered minion, yeah. Okay, those are minions, and then for actions you get the, you get Beam up here, you get two of those. Uh, Disintegrator, alright, you get two of those as well. 
uh, invasion, crop circles, terraforming, jam signal, probe, and abduction. So that's alien, that's the first one. Just gonna go ahead and uh, them all together. One thing I highly recommend that you do if you are going to be playing this game pretty commonly is to get some get some card sleeves. Uh, you don't want these things to be going bad because you know they're cards and you want to you know you want to treat them nicely. War Raptor. Okay so you got four War Raptors. Pretty nice. And there's Armored Stego. You get three of these, three Armored Stegos. And there's Laser Atops. Oh yeah, these dinos. So cool. And then the very famous King Rex. Seven power. Seven power King Rex, but no ability. As you can see, it's completely blank. Wow. And then your actions, you get some survival of the fittest here. Augmentation. Rampage. Howl. I think you get a couple of Howls. Natural selection. Upgrade. Yeah, there's Howl. Wildlife preserve. Tooth and claw and guns. And then another augmentation. Okay, that's, that's pretty nice. Honestly, pretty nice right there. Yeah, but going back to the card sleeves things, it's nice to do that for all these you know card games that are, have, a, have a heavy emphasis on cards, just because it really protects them over time. And if there's going to be a lot of people touching them, you know, and especially you know all those people that sometimes bring their, you know, their chip fingers or whatever their Cheeto fingers as they call them. Oh my God! Well, yeah, here's a first first mate. And there's Saucy Wench. I think you get three of these, I believe. Yeah. And you get a Buccaneer. You get two Buccaneers. Yep. And one Pirate King. Okay. So those are the minions. See, a lot of these have four of the weakest one, three of the next level, two of the next level, and then one of the boss minion, if you want to call that. But yeah, there's Powder Keg. What does that say? Oh, dingy. I was like, what the fuck? Broadside. Shanghai. Another one of those. Full Sail. Cannon. Swashbuckling. Broadside again. And then Sea Dogs. Okay. So that's it for the uh, Pirates. So that's the third one. Next up is Robots, one of the more powerful factions of all time, even after all the expansions have been released. So here's Microbot Reclaimer, another Reclaimer, Microbot Archive, Microbot Guard, two of those, okay. Microbot Fixer, you get two of those as well. Alpha, Microbot Alpha, Zapbots. Definitely get a lot of zap. Okay, you got four zap bots. Wow. There's Hoverbot. So you get three of these. Yeah. And then you get Warbot. You get, I think, two Warbots, meaning cannot be destroyed. And a Nukebot as your boss one. Now, as you saw, there's a lot of minions. This one actually has 18 minions and only two. Um, only two actions, as you can see. That's it. Choose a base, draw one card for each of your minions there. Wow. Yeah, but it's a very weird ratio. Not what you would expect from a typical faction, especially one from the core set. That was very basic level. Here's Zombies, another very powerful one as well. So here's Walker. And you get, uh, you get four Walkers. Okay. And there's Tenacious Z. Oh my god, this thing is a brutal nightmare to deal with. If you're facing off against zombies, they get an instant two power every freaking turn. It's crazy. Uh, Grave Digger. Okay, that's Grave Digger. Got two of those and then Zombie Lord. You can play an extra minion, a power two or less from a discard pile on each base where you have no minions. Alright, that's it for the minions. And then for the actions, here's a They Keep Coming. Overrun. Outbreak. Lend a Hand. Grave Robbing. Another Grave Robbing, okay. They're coming to get you. Mall Crawl. This fucking card. Oh my god. Where they keep coming and then not enough bullets. Yeah, so definitely a very powerful one. Uh, and there's Tricksters. Actually one of the less widely used ones because a lot of people claim it's not that good. Hmm. I mean, it, it can be with a certain right combination, but... There's Gremlins and you get four of these, yeah. 
Okay, and then there's Gnome. Okay, you got three of those. And there's Brownie. Brownie, okay. You got two Brownies. And then a Leprechaun. as your boss one. Then you have what? Mark of Sleep. Flame Trap. Disenchant. You got two Disenchants, okay. And Shrouding Mist. Pay the Piper. Hideout. Another Enshrouding Mist. Block the Path. And take the Shinies. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We got two left to look at. The next one is going to be Ninjas. Very useful when used with the right combination. Very technical, but it's cool with all these specials that they have. Ninja Acolytes. You got four Ninja Acolytes. Okay. And there's Shinobi. You got three Shinobis. Uh, Tiger Assassin. Resembles... Wow. It's like X2... What the hell's name? X23. Resembles a little bit, yeah. Ninja Master. And then for your actions, you get Assassination. Seeing Stars. Hidden Ninja. Another Seeing Stars there. Smoke Bomb. Poison. Way of Deception. Alright. Infiltrate. You get two of those. And then a Disguise. And that's it for Ninjas. And then the very last one is going to be the Wizards. Yeah, so Wizards, we got, okay, Neophyte. Then we got four of these. Yep. Okay. Enchantress. Very simple effect. It's just drawing a card when you play her. All right. Chronomage. Archmage. That's actually the boss one. Yeah, see, most of these, and I'll talk about the power levels in a bit, but that's Archmage. That's the boss one for the wizards. And there's Mystic Studies, there's Portal, uh, Winds of Change, Scry, uh, Scry? Scry, that's right. Uh, Mass Enchantment, Summon, Mystic Studies, again, Sacrifice, another Summon, and then Time Loop. Okay, but yeah, so their power levels, and you can see a lot of them usually average out at 5 as the best one. Now, Wizards have 4 as their best one, and Dinosaurs actually have 7 as their best one, but... That's it for that, and then the other thing I was talking about are the bases, which um, you actually get 16 bases for the core set, and every single expansion comes with a couple bases. Basically, every single faction is associated with 2 bases that usually have effects that directly benefit them. Not always, but usually it can help them a good amount. These are sideways, so I have to hold them like this, but yeah, so like here's the home world. It's a 23 breakpoint. Uh, then there's the mothership. Not bad. Yeah. So these two are for aliens, I will say. And the next one here is a jungle oasis. This one actually has no effect and it's only a 12. Very, very simple two points. And there's Tarpids. I think these two are for dinosaurs, which does actually make sense. Uh, and there's Cave of Shinies, as well as Mushroom Kingdom. That's so funny. Yeah, they do a lot of this with wordplay and puns or like referencing other things. Um, this isn't wordplay or pun, but it's referencing something else. But they also do a lot of wordplays and puns. It's pretty funny. But yeah, so these two are for Tricksters. Then there's Tortuga and the Grey Opal. These are for Pirates. These two here, okay. Then there's the central brain, as well as factory four three six one three three seven. These two are for robots, okay. Road to Plaza Mall and Evans City Cemetery. Both of these are for the zombies. Temple of Goju and Ninja Dojo. Wow, that's so difficult to know what faction these are associated with, huh? Yeah, obviously ninjas. As you can see, these actually are two three twos as opposed to high, medium, low. Uh, it, it combines well with the effect that, you know, or the fact that um alien or <laughs> aliens are like that ninjas can just kind of sneak on in there before um base scores or move away. And then these two are the Great Library and School of Wizardry. They're both associated with the um the wizards over here. So yeah. Pretty cool stuff. So yeah, these are your cards, and you, know, you get you get eight factions of twenty each. So 
This would be 20, 40, 60, 80 times 2, 160, plus 16 base cards. So, yeah, you get over, uh, what, 170 cards here. And I don't know, the price of this game is usually uh, around... It varies a lot. I've seen as low as like 20 bucks, sometimes as much as like 30, 35. It just kind of depends on where you go ahead and grab it. But yeah, that's um that's basically it for um for Smash Up. Like I was saying before, if you do want me to ever make a video of like how to play, I can definitely make a video version of this here and just kind of show you how it is that you end up playing the game. It can get very technical sometimes, and I kind of like technicalities because I like Yu-Gi-Oh a lot. Um, so obviously I would like that, but. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. I will also be doing unboxings for a couple other of different, uh, other different Smash Up products, uh, some expansions. Uh, so yeah, just be on the lookout for that. Uh, as always, I would appreciate it if you go and leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you do enjoy the video. It definitely lets me know if you like this kind of content and if you would like to see more in the future. So yeah, bye bye everyone. Have a great and of course a fantastic day.